Hey everyone, welcome back. Just a quick video uh, in the fading light of today. Uh, just a quick video on seed raising Adramiscus. Uh, this is a nice way to make yourself some new material that no one else has. Each baby seedling is a unique clone of its own. Um, these guys I know are all Adramiscus marianae holii, but um, the pollinator was a hummingbird. So uh, this is just a good way to get new characteristics, uh, new exciting material out of your seeds that you grow. A uh, little bit on seed raising is um, I sift everything here. Um, I also sterilize my mix in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes to one hour. That takes care of all the molds, the fungus, the bugs, whatever might be in there. Um, the reason why I feel like I have green algae is because uh, I did um, water with rainwater, and so I think some some natural material got in here. But these seedlings here on the on the right hand side are sowed December first, whereas these few larger ones over here were last year's seedlings, and uh, you can see they they kind of look like Marianae Hollyi, which is characterized by kind of like a longer thicker leaf but um, not always so um, if we go up here's a seed grown baby that's probably about five years old this is a vadromiscus marianae holli um, and you you do see some changes in the leaves um, so here at the base these are the older leaves and then this is last or last spring's leaf here with a nice rounded shape but this year it decided to make something pointy so you see how pointy that leaf is so that is still Adramiscus marianae holli but you can never <laughs> sorry I'm, I'm clicking on the focus and it's right where the light meter is so Apologies. So you will never know or uh, can never guarantee what your uh, your seedling will look like uh, based off of these few leaves down here because these are the first leaves. Uh, the nice thing about growing seeds as well too is uh, once you get uh, used to growing little tiny seeds that the Adramiscus make, uh, the same seeds grow on Crassula, Tylacodon, uh, Dudleia, Echeveria. So once you get your feet wet with, with growing little tiny things like this, uh, you could grow larger things for sure. I know I, I sowed some Echeveria agavoides ebony for the first time this year, and the seeds were so small. Um, oh, another note here. Um, you have, or what I have here, is very fine gravel. It's almost like sand. I put that over my seedling starting mix to lock those seeds in, so when you're picking up the pot, you're not wiggling the seed out of its place. So that is also another uh, great addition to to have for your seed, like, seed mix. So back to here. Uh, the parent plant was this here uh, and this is Adramiscus marianae holli from Skimmelberg, northern Skimmelberg. Uh, I got this from my friend who brought this back with a permit from South Africa and in South Africa this nursery uh, was selling this plant for three bucks and when it went for Christmas auction I think I paid like two hundred dollars for a parent plant because uh, a really wealthy man uh, really wanted the plant. And I said, this is the only thing I want for Christmas. Are you going to give it to me? So he stopped bidding, but I did bite the bullet and spend a pretty penny for it. Uh, since then, I, I had lost leaves and repropagated the plant. So um, I, on another note, I do feel like Brian Macon is also a type of holly eye. I mean, I'm going to have to talk to the expert, uh, Roger Christensen, about that. This is a, a different clone of Brian Macon uh, that has more pigment on it. It's uh, known in the uh, trade as dark side. 
um, but it is a brain making, which I think brain making is Holyai. Now here's another weirdo here. Uh, in America, this is available as uh, Makinai with double I on the end of Makinai. So I don't know if this is somebody's seed grown beast or not. Um, but it, it does resemble, you know, this wild holly eye to a degree. It's just bigger. And then there's the dark side. And here's, you know, the new stuff or my new uh, material that no one else has. It's the beauty about seed raising is that you uh, grow things from seed and no one else has it. Here's a hybrid of little spheroid. So a little spheroid cross with a uh, immaculatus, you get the little spheroid tight shaped uh, teardrop leaves, has a nice silveriness to it, uh, and it's a compact plant. I do make my own pottery as well. Um, going on to other, this is a, another uh, Atromiscus marianae little spheroid hybrid, very strong horseshoe uh, horseshoe action here at the tip of the leaf, but it is not a very vigorous plant. It's tough, it could take the rain, but it doesn't throw out leaves like this. So maybe your parent, one of your parents is holly eye, because holly eye tends to not make a lot of leaves. Here is another hybrid of little spheroid seed grown. Uh, here is also another hybrid of a little spheroid. Sorry about the lighting guys, It's I'm losing light, It's the sun's going down. Uh, this is the original material of a little spheroid that is um, the original, one of the original clones of the plant. And here is one of my seed grown babies over here. This was, this is a Adramiscus marianae harii. And at first I was excited because I saw this leaf here at the base. And I said, oh, cool, we're going to get an, a holly eye and it's going to have texture on it. But as the years progressed, you could see the leaves around it, uh, like here. Uh, that's like year two, year three, and then now this is like a five-year-old clone. Now it just looks like, you know, it's pointy, it's green. Okay, you know, kind of common. I've seen the pointy green clones before, but it is special to me because it is one of my first attempts at growing um, Adramiscus from seed. So I highly encourage you to grow your own seeds don't be intimidated just bake that soil mix and then lock in those seeds with a little bit of gravel um, at the top so they don't wiggle out and for your rarest clones that you get or your most loved plants uh, i would go and break off a leaf and let it sit on the side like this guy here because you never know when you are going to rot your clone so i always have a broken off leaf here or I share leaves um, because you never know when you're gonna lose the plant you know God forbid so anyway that's my video for today thank you guys for joining me uh, and I'll see you in the next video